on this giant ball of rock we call Earth is a marvel of existence. The land is covered with various biomes and ecosystems ranging from hot, dry deserts to humid, dense rainforests to sub-temperature arctic tundras, all teeming with diverse and miraculous life. But land is not the only place that life exists. For if we travel below the waves of our seas and oceans, we can find even more diverse biomes with ecosystems to match. From the sprawling seagrass meadows, to the mystifying kelp forests, and the rainforest of the sea, coral reefs. So join me on our journey of the underwater world and the creatures that inhabit it. At the start of our journey, let's take a look at one of the busiest underwater biomes, the coral reef. They are one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet containing around 25% of marine life, but covering less than 0.1% of the ocean. They are most often found in shallow, tropic waters, and they get their name from the large amount of coral that covers the biome's landscape. And look there. What is that strange-looking thing? Why, that's a sea anemone, a stationary predatory creature related to corals and jellyfish, they use a lethal sting from the tendrils atop its head to catch prey. Though, I'm sure that most people know sea anemone because of their relation to a small orange and white fish. The clown anemone fish is probably one of the most recognizable fish of coral reefs for their distinct coloration, their symbiotic relationship with the anemone, and their tendency to go on grand adventures in search of their sun. There are about 30 species of anemone fish, including the pink clownfish, the cinnamon clownfish, the Clark's anemone fish, or in the case of our friend here, the Osularis clownfish, also sometimes called the false Procula clownfish, or the common clownfish. You can identify this species by the three white bands on its bodies, and if you look at the middle band, you can see a bump pointing towards its head. This little fish can grow up to be 4.3 inches or 11 centimeters long, and live in upwards of 10 years. These omnivorous fish make their homes in an enemy by first rubbing up against their tendrils. Normally, the toxin from sea and enemy tendrils is lethal, but thanks to a thick layer of mucus on its body, the clownfish is safe. Acclimated, the fish now has a home for protection against predators and access to the anemone's food scraps. In exchange, the clownfish wards off unwanted pests and removes harmful parasites. Continuing on in our journey of the underwater world, let's step away from the busy coral reefs and travel to the vast and peaceful seagrass meadows. Sometimes referred to as the lungs of the sea, seagrass meadows are important to many underwater species. One such creature that relies on seagrass is the green sea turtle. One of seven species of sea turtles, the green sea turtle, can be found around the world living in coastal regions of more than 140 countries. This marine reptile can grow to be up to four feet or 1.2 meters, and live up to an estimated 70 years or more. Green sea turtles are herbivores, mainly eating algae and seagrass. Because they eat this way, they are an essential part of sea life. Seagrass constantly needs to be cut short to encourage growth along the ocean floor. This makes green sea turtles a very important part of marine ecosystems. But unfortunately, Six of the seven species of sea turtles, including the green sea turtle, are currently endangered because of poachers and overexploitation. Meaning that these important members of the marine ecosystem face the possibility of disappearing from our oceans forever. On a lighter note, let's head back over to the reef, because it's there we can find our next subject the largest predatory fish in the world, Carcharodon carcharius, or as most people know it, the Great White Shark. Growing to be around 6.4 meters or 21 feet by adulthood, 
and weighing between 1,500 to 4,000 pounds, these monsters are forces to be reckoned with. Great whites have evolved to be the perfect marine hunter, with strong swimming muscles, amazing eyesight, and a keen sense of smell. Not to mention a powerful bite, with serrated teeth that can puncture flesh and shatter bones. They can often be found in temperate coastal waters, but have been documented to travel far out into the sea. Funnily, despite how recognizable Great Whites are due to movies like Jaws or The Shallows, we actually know very little about White Shark's social behavior, or why they even attack humans at all. And with that, our journey of the undersea world comes to an end. Our oceans and the biomes, ecosystems, and creatures that live within it are very important to our planet, as important as anything on land. In current times, our oceans are threatened by many of the same issues that currently plague the world above water, and also has a few issues of its very own. From climate change, heating the ocean waters, to ocean acidification, overfishing, and pollution, to name a few. If we want to continue to enjoy the beauty and wonders that Earth has, then we need to protect the biomes and wildlife, and learn to be sustainable. If you have the drive and the want to do something, you can learn more and find ways to help by visiting these websites.